I'm Girl Fruit, and there's this one time where Foo Fighters are on an episode of Top Chef. Yep, in Season 5, Episode 3, the chefs cooked Thanksgiving dinner for Foo Fighters. We're the Foo Fighters. <laughs> I never thought that the Foo Fighters would be into Top Chef. We're actually huge fans of Top Chef. We watch it a lot. So the chefs traveled to their show that night, which was in Rochester, New York, at Blue Cross Arena on July 28, 2008, which is probably why this whole thing was awkward. I want you guys to make a Thanksgiving feast for us. This episode of Top Chef aired November 26, 2008. I know you gotta shoot these things ahead of time and stuff, but I mean, still, LOL. The chefs had to cook for the entire Foo Fighters crew. There were 18 vegans present and a love for chocolate-covered frozen bananas. But when the chefs got there, they only had microwaves and toaster ovens used to cook, and no freezers. So this chef, who had planned and I'm making something with frozen bananas had this solution. What if we want s'mores? A s'mores kind of banana s'mores? s'mores? One of the things that was in the rider is all about frozen bananas and chocolate. And since we didn't have a freezer to use, I could actually make s'mores. Now granted, they were probably under a ton of pressure, which I mean, I would be too if I was cooking for Foo Fighters. But how in the world do you go from frozen bananas covered in chocolate to s'mores? Like, okay, so the chefs do the challenge and Foo Fighters roll in, ready for their Thanksgiving meal at the end of July. Team Cougar made spoon bread stuffing with figs, cranberries, walnuts, and onions. Butterball turkey confit with mushroom gravy and cranberry. Maple smoked pork loin. And a five cheese mac and cheese. What's going on in the middle there? Some love, baby, some bacon. Yeah, it is. What I'm talking about, all right. Right there. Oh. Oh. Team Sexy Pants also had turkey, sweet yams with marshmallows on it, and vegan cornbread stuffing. Just like mama makes. Yeah. The judges and the foos then sit around the table like they're a big happy family and critique the food. Team Sexy Pants had the better stuffing. <laughs> I think it has more flavor than the other stuffing and it's not as dry. The vegan stuffing was my favorite thing from either team. Y'all, they were brutal to Team Cougar stuffing. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like the stuffing. I just don't like figs and stuff and like the stuffing. Team Cougar had the better turkey though. I think that the Cougars had a better turkey. Despite that, they didn't quite have the potatoes down though. The mashed potatoes were slightly al dente. Yeah. I mean, not cooked all the way. Shiflet digged the ham though. I like the smoked ham. I like that he got on the guy brown it too. Rigged his own fried pan. They like the yams from Team Sexy Pants, and they also like the mac and cheese from Team Cougar. I love the the, um, the uh, mac and cheese with the bacon bit. Mac and cheese was great. I'm a big fan of the bacon. Oh. <laughs> Moving on to the desserts, Team Cougar had a peach and cherry cobbler with vanilla cream, fresh fruit salad with pumpkin mousse, and those freaking banana s'mores with vanilla cream and chocolate ganache. Team Sexy Pants had roasted pumpkin, honey and cinnamon tiramisu, and peach and blueberry crisp with whipped cinnamon cream. Unlike the entrees, the desserts were pretty polarizing between the two teams. And <laughs> guess what they thought about the s'mores? Did someone offend the s'mores guy? Because I think he spit on mine. <laughs> <laughs> so the winning team was Team Sexy Pants, and they got to watch Foo Fighters that night play in their sexy pants, and oh my god, what is this tempo? for times like these. And the episode ends with a s'mores guy going home. Which, low-key, I kind of felt bad. And with that, I'm kind of hungry, actually. I'm gonna have what he's having. Oh.